Hi guys, it's Luna. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you stopped by. Um, today, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about the Animism Tarot. I just got this copy in the mail. This is the third time I've bought this deck. Um, the first time I bought it a long time ago and I sold it. And then after a couple months, I started missing it. So I bought it again. And then I sold it at the end of last year, I believe. And then I missed it again. <laughs> so I waited a few months to make sure before I bought it for the third time that if I buy it this time, it's not leaving my collection. It's staying because I don't know if y'all do that too, where you have a deck, you're like, ah, and you just put it in the pile and you get rid of it. And then later you're like, dang it, I miss it. I've had several decks I have bought and bought and bought and bought. Sometimes I feel like I keep creators in business almost all by myself. <laughs> um, of course not, but I do buy decks multiple times because I'm crazy like that. Um, anybody like that? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this one is really unique and I'm glad in a way that I did sell the others because she did an anniversary edition of the deck and it is borderless. <laughs> which I love because that was one of the things that kind of made me put it in the pile before because of the borders. They were just kind of uh, intentionally haphazard and it, it was just a lot. And uh, I was really like, I had looked at trying to trim it once and I was just like, because the borders are kind of wavy, it was like hand drawn. It was on purpose, it was really cute. It's just, I like, I like them a certain way. And I actually do prefer borderless. So when I saw she had this for sale, I was like, well, heck yeah. <laughs> So I bought it. Um, it took a little while to get here, but it did arrive today, so I'm happy about that. Uh, this deck is really cool because it has a lot of animals that are not in regular decks. It's got like duck-billed platypuses and koala bears and sloths and llamas and hippos and just all kinds of cute little animals that most people don't think about and certainly don't put in tarot decks. So that's one of the things I like it about it, like about it. Um, the other thing is that it has a happy squirrel card, so that's kind of cool. And instead of just doing a random tuck box like um, a lot of people do, she went through the trouble of creating this really cool box that kind of flowers open for you. Um, and trying to figure out how to open it, I finally realized you just take this piece here and you just kind of slide it over to the side because it's only got a hook on one side there. So if you just kind of slide it that way, you won't tear your box. So then it pops open and what happens next is really, really cool. I like the way she laid this out. It's almost if you had like a scarf and did like the scarf tying method, it kind of comes together like that. But she did her, um, her deck. She's got pentacles up here, which is earth, which is north. And then she has swords, which is east, which is air. And then down here, she's got wands, which is south, which is fire. And then over here, she has cups which is west, which is water. So I like that, it's really neat. And then she has um, she has some little senses there. Yeah, I, just, I think that's pretty cool. And then on the back here is her little design. So I like it, it's pretty sturdy, it's coated. Um, I think it'll last a while and I, I just, I like that it's different, you know? It's different than regular decks. Um, that saying, I'll probably put it in a bag. I think I kept my other ones in the bag. I think I have a bag that will match. It's really cute. So anyway, enough about the box and me rambling on. Here are the cards. Um, if you have this deck and you're just watching to see what the borderless edition looks like, um, the backs are different. They are different than the, um, the original. It seems like the original has some wavy brown lines. I wish I still had a copy so I could compare side by side. I really love doing those videos. Um, let me zoom you in a little bit. There we go. So you can see, uh, it looks like she changed the rabbit maybe a little bit, and maybe the, the rooster, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, the card stock, it feels the same as the original. It's thin, but it's not like, it's not super, super thin. It's still got a little bit of, you know, body to it, but I think it'll shuffle really well. The deck does look a little narrower than the original, maybe a little bit longer. So it's standard uh, playing card size, and she just like trimmed the borders off. Now, this is my second time making this video for you guys because <clears throat> I was doing the first one and um, I noticed none of the cards were in order, which is unusual. Usually you get a deck and they're all in order, but they um, they sent it to me all out of order, which is cool. Um, I really enjoy putting them back in order, you know, and <clears throat> everything. I need a drink. I like putting them back in order. It kind of calms me down. And um, I decided to put the suit of cups on top. 
uh, kind of in honor of <clears throat> the gentle tarot because she puts her um when the deck comes to you her publisher or whoever puts the cups on first and i think that's just really sweet so i did it here too so um i guess we'll just kind of flip through check them out the other thing that's changed on this edition is she's kind of put the name in the card just in random places it kind of blends it's really not bothersome at all and she actually put the name of the um animal shown on the card so that's pretty cool that was not on the original addition to the best of my knowledge as much as I can remember I'm pretty sure I think it had borders down at the bottom and then it did not say the animal so let's see is that zoomed in enough there we go so the <laughs> face of cups is the adorable otters aren't they just so cute this is such a happy deck and it just really makes me happy some of these animals uh, just really put a smile on my face <clears throat> and then we have the two of cups and they have is the seal I won't read all of them off to you guys, but um, this is one of my favorites. This one makes me smile. It's a sloth. Not too many decks have a sloth. And this one's the Four of Cups. I just like that one. And uh, that's the Salamander, the Marble Salamander. Polar Bear. Our Eight of Cups is a Magpie. And then there's a little Black Bear. Swans. The Page of Cups, see? Duckbill, Platypus, and look at the coloring. It's just so bright, so happy. Such a cheerful little deck. Um, and then the Knight of Cups is a Hippopotamus. <laughs> it's just so cute. And then Queen of Cups is a Leatherback Sea Turtle. Love sea turtles. And then look, it's a Humpback Whale, the King of Cups. You guys, if you've been watching my channel, you know I love whales um, and tarot decks. So I was really happy to see that one. So that's our cups. Um, then we're going to go ahead and move into the Major Arcana. And here's a happy little llama just bouncing along. I think it's great for the full card. And um, oh, that's kind of cool. So we have our Magician, which is a coyote. And the High Priestess is a striped owl. Our little Empress. I love her little face. <laughs> and then a Komodo dragon. Then we have, it says a stoat. And seahorses. Yeah, you don't see seahorses in a lot of decks. I like that. The chariot and strength. And the hermit is a red panda. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. And then for the Wheel of Fortune, they have an orb weaver. Justice. We have a possum and the hanged man. And a raven for death. It kind of reminds me of... Um, the Bone, Stone, and Earth Flesh Terror, I think they had something similar. Or did they have a skull? I don't know. For some reason, it just reminds me of it. I don't think it's anything like it, actually, now that I think about it. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> we have Temperance, which is a Liger. Oh, and it's a little brown hyena for the devil. And it's little stripies. And then a Scorpion for the Tower. An Ibis for the Star. That's a good choice. The Moon is a little bunny. And the sun is a rooster. Good choice as well. Judgment is a Siamese cat. <laughs> they are very judgmental, aren't they? I don't know if you've ever been around one. They just kind of look through you like, mm-hmm. Um, then we have the world, which is a koi fish. And then we have our bonus card, the happy squirrel. So cute. Then um, we'll move into pentacles. There's our little ace. It's a scarab beetle. And the kangaroo, little dormouse, and a little skunk. You don't see skunks on tarot cards too often. <clears throat> and these are, oh, it's kiwi. Okay. An alligator and a plover. A peacock. Aw, it's a cute little beaver. And a moose. Some zebras. A little chipmunk for the Page of Pentacles. And then a black rhinoceros for the Knight of Pentacles. An alpine cow for the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> I identify as an alpine cow. <laughs> it's very cute. All right. And King of Pentacles is a silverback gorilla. Then we're going to move into the swords, which is a beautiful bald eagle. We have a panther. 
A bleeding heart dove. Aw. <laughs> I hate when they stick swords in animals. Um, other than that card, I love it. Love it. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, aw. <laughs> then we have a koala bear, which is adorable. I love that card. Uh, a mako shark. Then a little penguin. And a raccoon. The seven of swords, which is, yeah. <laughs> Pretty typical. You see those on a lot of Seven of Swords cards, I think. Then we have our eight, which is, um, uh, that's a really good choice, actually. I like that. Octopus. And then there's a little, um, it says Flying Fox. Huh. Then a Bearded Vulture. Then we have a little duck. And a Greyhound for the Knight of Swords. Our Queen of Swords is an Osprey, and the King is a Grey Wolf. That just leaves one more suit to go, which is the Suit of Wands. Um, our Ace is a Ram, we have a Giraffe, and a Cougar, a Hummingbird, a Wild Boar, Caracol? Caracol? Car I don't think I've ever said that word. <laughs> Hedgehog, Oh. I like that. A black mamba. And the nine is an elephant. Tan's a camel. How appropriate. And then our page is a little chinchilla. <laughs> and we have a king a cheetah. And then for the queen, we have a red fox. And for the king, it's the highland bull. So yeah, what do you guys think? If you have this deck, but the one with the borders, what are you thinking of the ones without the borders? You know? I, I like it. I'm really glad that I ended up with this is the one that's going to be in my collection forever. Um, I have a lot of favorite cards in here and it seems like the colors are a lot more vibrant too. They're not so muted by the borders that were on there. I just really like it. All these colors. So anyway, thanks for joining me for this very long, very drawn out video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, you know, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, I think I'm at 200 subscribers right now, which is so exciting. I can't believe 200 people want to watch what I'm putting out. So that's really great. I'm really happy about that. Anyway, until next time, you guys, take care of yourselves. And I hope everyone is well out there. And I guess I will talk to you all later. Bye.